Hey guys, my name is James and I'm playing Arcage. I wanted to show you guys how you get your first mount on the west side if you were a Nui, Nuian, human, whatever you want to call this race. So, you'll be about level 6 on e any of the factions, any of the races, and you'll get a quest from someone that's a stable hand. We're going to talk to the stable hand. He's going to say, uh, you know, this common thing, do you have a moment? Basically, he's, what he's asking you to do is transport a mount. As you can see, I have a horse called a foal, and I need to transport it to Wyatt. So what we're going to do is just follow. This is number three. Number three corresponds with Wyatt, who is over here. And the quest is the same if you're an elf or if you're some of the other races. Just the names and the areas are a little different, but it should be about the same level. And it's the same sequence. We're actually running by someone right now who's training his little horse to grow up. So, we talk to the guy, blah blah blah, and now we get to pick a reward. So, now what we need to do is plant the Vita Seed. You're just going to click on the little uh, thing that pops up on your quest, feeding your foal, because what you're doing right now is growing the feed that you're going to give your pet. So, you drop it and it's going to take 25 seconds, you can see mine's at 15 seconds, but it takes a little bit of time. It's not too bad though compared to some of the high level quests. Five seconds left. And we're harvesting it. And you have 51 minutes, 59 minutes to harvest this or somebody could steal it. Although it's a Vita seed and I mean no one really wants it. In the high levels people do steal stuff. So now we get to pick the horse. My other character I have a gray one so I'll take the buckskin. So now what you do is open up your inventory. You'll see an end so towards something that just came in your inventory. You're going to right click and place the horse. You just click twice. Now you'll see you need to interact with it. First you're going to amuse it. Next you're going to feed it with the feed you just gave it. And now it's going to, it's kind of like evolving, you know, Pokemon. It's going to grow bigger, but it's not ours yet. We need to do one more step. And I'm going to show you guys that step. And instead of waiting the 48 seconds, I'll show you what to do right now. Some people will just wait. All you really need to do is go to a watering well, and you need to gather water. It's always important to carry a lot of water, just for when you start with your first farm. That way, you can buy all your seeds, you have your scarecrow farm, and you're planting everything you need. And I'm actually going to make a video on your first farm too when I get to that on this alternate character, but each time you get it, you get about three to four waters, sometimes less. This time I got two. So I've got 17 stacks of water. I'll do it once more, and then I'm going to go back to the pet. That's right, I said it's a pet. It is a mount, but it has some abilities that can help you in combat and transportation, unlike in other MMOs where, you know, you pay your 100 plat and get your pet forever, and that's it. These can actually die, and you need to heal them or cure them with potions, as well as you'll need to revive them at stable hands. So now that we gave the food to the pet, as well as the water, it's now ours to keep. And it's going to take a couple extra seconds, but you'll see that it'll disappear into our inventory and I'll show you what to do next. And we have 45 seconds, so I'm just going to go pick up these other quests while I wait. Double tap W to sprint. And like I said, go to the watering hole whenever you see it and grab water. It's just good to have because sometimes the only farm area you can get, I mean, sure it's an extra 30 seconds, but nobody wants to buy all their seed and then realize, oh wait, I have to go back for more water. It kind of sucks. So we'll go back to the pet. It's not going to go anywhere. It has seven seconds left, so I saved some time in the grand scheme of things and when first point you're going to want to rush through this stuff so you want to use your time to the best your advantage. So you click, your guy does a little dance, yay you got a horse. And it'll show up in this slot in your inventory after we stop dancing. There we go, that's the horse. Right click it, it's ours. Drag it onto wherever hotbar you want. You press shift 3 for this case. You can either press the right click it you can press shift 3 to dismount, or you can press shift 3 
plus G to mount. And the first ability you get is a run ability, which is basically just an increased run speed, which I'll show you guys. So what you do is you just press run, and the pet will sprint. And these pets actually gain experience as you play with them. They gain experience by running, and they gain experience by being next to you during combat. But be careful, because enemy attackers will attack your pet. And this leads you to your first trade pack quest, which I will probably show in a later video when it's a different trade pack, since this is not really that difficult. And the unfinished home is just right here anyway. And this is pretty much the same in every faction I've played. The quests kind of mirror each other, just with little different cultural and differences. So what you're going to do is actually just right-click this house. I'll show you guys. And there you go. You talk to the guy. Oh, thanks for carrying it two feet down the road. You're the best. And you talk to her. A lot of the quests in this game are quite easy. But this leads me to the next video I'll show you guys later. Thanks, guys.